Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we saw how we can do a content check by using a function called web branch find. All right, and this is how the function is going to look like. So we have some code before here, and also we are going to code. We have going to have some code after this. But the point of intention here is that this web submit data is going to give me a page, and in that page. I am expecting a text on the top corner like teacher one. Okay, so the response of this request will contain a text like teacher one. So to get those things, what we need to do before this step, we have to register for a text string called teacher. How do we register? You register by calling a function called web underscore reg underscore find and if you want to know more detail about web underscore reg underscore find the best place to look here is go to the function reference and in the function reference you are going to find something web reg find this function reference is going to tell you what kind of arguments this web underscore reg underscore find will take and if you read a little bit bit up here it tells everything what I am going to talk right now. The quick way to learn just go to this example and try out a couple of examples five examples here. So let's quickly take a look what does it says okay the first example says that it is going to this is a this is a step say so step one and this is the second step step two. So before step two we put if we put the function web bridge find and what we are searching we are searching for a text that is welcome one so that is what we send in the parameter exactly the way that we are searching for teacher one here we are searching for text welcome one so basically after this step if we do not see a text welcome one then this script is going to fail right so here another example here we put a new argument and that argument is a key value pair and the, by sending this kind of argument what you are saying to the VU gen is that just after this registration in the next step which is web submit form in the response of this this request look for a text called welcome one and whatever time you find welcome in that page you put into a variable and that variable name is welcome underscore count and notice that this is a load runner parameter to access load runner parameter you have to do lr eval string this is what we discussed in the in couple of videos ago when we were discussing about about about, about manipulating load runner parameter programmatically okay so so what you're doing in this uh, in in, the, in this program so here we 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 create a param uh, we create a parameter and that parameter contains the number of time welcome is shown in this page okay and then just after this what we are doing we are checking that if the lr eval string if the value in this welcome one wel uh, welcome count is greater than zero then we are basically writing to an output message that login successful else we are putting an error message and also we can do something that we can we can programmatically abort the the script okay so so this is what this is the use of this web bridge find and here we learn something more we got so now assume that whenever you are uh, you know you are you, you, you are you are submitting this form you do not want to see any error okay so if you are seeing any error in the next page that means if that means look for a for a text and that text is error and if that error is found if the text is found then say that the test is no no, no need to run the test anymore so basically what we have we have something like you know web reg underscore find and then we are seeing the text is error if we are finding the text as error then we are giving an additional parameter and that parameter is fail that means if you found the uh, the text error then the test will the script will fail okay so that is the meaning of average find with additional parameter fail found okay so so this is how you can use average find about the script 
if you find some undesirable string and definitely error is an undesirable string in the HTML output all right so this is how you know your use web underscore reg underscore find here is another problem so for example this is my script and this script I have already recorded okay in the last video I, I have shown you how to insert this content check if, if, if you if you're recording for the first time but however if the script is already recorded how do you want to put content check and to do that what we can do we can write ourselves web bridge find say for example whenever I'm going to this front page right and in the front page like this is the local host module and here I am seeing a string called available courses okay so basically whenever load runner is going to parse find for this string it will look for this for this text and and basically what you can do you can just copy this text and you write web you write this function web underscore reads underscore find and then what you can do you can you can pass this parameter and the parameter first parameter is text equal to and then that is where I'm going to put this available courses okay and then I'm going to say you know put the string last so last means you know the, the, the attribute last say that okay there's no more parameter after this okay so this I can do however this might be like you know you might make mistakes while typing this thing what Loden gives Loden gives an automated way you just right click you insert a new step all right the new step and you look for a function called web underscore reg find okay so this function so just just insert so if you insert this one it will give you a dialog box and in this dialog box you can just write the search string and the search string for me is available courses and and it will give you option like you no know, match cases like you no know, match cases means it will match the uppercase lowercase like you know if you give match case then it will match everything as it is but if you disable this then it will not give you that and then you can also give some regular expression right like in you know, the start string and end string and some wild card and all those things and also you can see search where do you want to search you want to search in body or you want to search in header okay so basically you can search in body or, or give it default and then if you want to save count then click on save count and then give the parameter give the parameter name and let's say I just give the parameter name as X here okay and then also you can do fail if so that means if he, if it if it is not found then it will fail if you select found then it will not fail and the moment you say okay this is going to generate me a web bridge find function okay and look at this so this is the web bridge found function so this is the web bridge find function that got generated just by using the dialog box so basically if you are a novice user if you start for you know first time then I won't recommend you to write your own web bridge underscore find rather use this dialog box to create your web bridge find so now essentially what we have done here is that we are registering a registering a search string and for what we are searching we are searching for available course and if the available course is not going to found in this response for this web URL request then we are going to stop the script okay so now if we run this thing this is going to pass because we are going to see available courses so now basically instead of say like so localhost Moodle let's say you want to go to Moodle 1 so Moodle 1 is not going to give you anything so in that case you know this thing is going to, going to fail because of this web underscore is underscore find